All right, so I'm bringing up my friend and brother. He needs no introduction in Nigeria entertainment and locally, internationally, is privileged to, um, not privileged, his stage also rock. He's gone to the UK back to back, and I'm very proud. He's one of my protégés that is doing very, very well. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hand together as I bring up Akudolo Reva. Okay, now you might not know that name, but please put your hand together for forever. Let's put your hand together for forever as he comes on stage. All right, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, let me use the two. <laughs> um, Ambassador, first of all, thank you very much for the opportunity of inviting me here. I'm grateful. I don't take it for granted. And um, to all our guest speakers and to the people that are here, thank you for coming. So, so one of the things I learned from what she said was that uh, what is holding you back? I went for one event, one man was shouting, you can make it, take the move. What is holding you back? One guy from the back, you all shout the transport fare. <laughs> you know, that it's not every program you go to you ask this kind of question. So 2007, I was in House on the Rock, Enugu. One pastor was preaching, I can't forget his name, Pastor Erastus Barnabas from Kaduna. He was shouting, the woman in the Bible had a little oil in a jar that God turned to pay her debt. Everybody has something. What have you done with your oil? We kept quiet. The man asked him, What have you done with your oil? Are you not cook beans? <laughs> your oil is gone with doo-doo. <laughs> Soft ones, are you not plantain? <laughs> ah, I, plantain is one food that, as you are frying it, by, you, you, you saw yourself frying it, but when you are done, there's no one. You're not wondering where did I fry this not lying? He's digesting. He's digesting. Somebody now brought on one new tactic is that one of the ways to sustain your doodoo is that when you're frying it, be chewing gum. One guy say you don't know me. I can chew gum on my left and on my left and chew doodoo on my right. It's gum it's gum doodoo. <laughs> you know, so, so, but things are happening. You know, Zach was saying that uh, your mind cannot take you where your body cannot go where your mind have not been. And he gave an example of that uh, before I go here today. His mind was already here. He walks every time, except when you want to fly early in the morning. Your mind will forget. You now wake up by 7.30, and the flight is 7.45. And you live in Isolo. And airport is at Ikeja. By yourself, you call, God is good, do you have space? <laughs> I thought you book flight. Uh, sometimes I like to see nature. Let me see your red. <laughs> You've missed your flight. You know, but things are happening. Um, transport is not funny. You know that I was in traffic going to the airport. One guy driving a blue van just felt that we used siren to push us from, away from the road. That's that guy was pressing. Like, boop, 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 boop. Legosians, wicked people. He said, all of us will be in this traffic. This is your useless siren. At a point, the siren started complaining. Now, wow, now, wow, now, wow, now. I said, ah, your siren is grumbling. He said, leave the road, an emergency. I said, oh, guy, all of us will stay here. After like 10 minutes later, the siren died. Brother, wine that was at the gala. <laughs> Since I already missed the flight, let me eat something. You know, because a lot of people think that Lagos is hard, Lagos is hard. It's because things have happened to us and we refuse to have empathy anymore. I cannot forget the other day. And I'm, right now, how many of you, if you are driving, you see ambulance? Do you clear? Be honest. Do you clear if you see ambulance? Because they've deceived us. I saw ambulance, was shouting, life at stake, clear the road. I was shouting, life at stake, clear the road. Only for us to get to the front, saw ambulance, driver eating amala. He used us to clear road to go and buy food. I saw a guy, you were shouting, life at stake. He saw a guy, if I'm not eating, I would have died. I said, so it's your own life that was at stake? He said, yes, things are tough. When you drive in Lagos, you see those school buses where they say, my driving is wrong, call this number. Have you ever called that number? It does not work. Oh. It does not work. The other that was driving at Zumbamba, they were behind a school bus. The driver was driving recklessly. I said, let me report this driver to the school owners. That's how I dialed the number. A man picked up the phone, and the first night was, hello, how can I help you? I said, I'm currently behind your school bus. The driver is driving recklessly on Nigerian road, endangering the life of children that their parents put under your care. The plate number is BDG814EE. I want to sanction that driver. Next thing I heard was, Ooh! 
God will punish you. Wicked people. Oh, you are calling them to sack me, Abi. I know I will meet people like you on Nigeria. That's why I removed your number and put my personal number. Idiot. Instead of you to overtake me, I'll tell me, Waka. If they sack me, who will feed my children? In fact, I will jam you now. I ended the call. Call the second line. I said, hello, I heard. Don't bother the two see my in one phone. Yeah, yeah, man. <laughs> you, know, you know, this Lagos is funny. It's not, it's not just Lagos, so Nigeria is funny. No jokes. Yesterday I was driving and I heard on radio Stephanie Linus. How many of you know her? That's Stephanie Okereke. <laughs> no jokes, so. Advert. <laughs> Next on your hair was lions are the most courageous animals in the world. In Nigeria, <laughs> we have less than 15 lions alive because people keep eating them as much meat. <laughs> so my question is, who they chop lion from this country? <laughs> so so everybody just they, 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 it's lion meat. <laughs> That's their pro but, so who first of all who will catch the lion? Who will butcher it? <laughs> so, we see lion meat. So, so, for example, I go to see you. <laughs> How do they call head of lion? You see a lion. <laughs> you see a goo. We are eating, we are eating too much in this country. Eh? <laughs> so, someone just say, oh, I'm feeling peckish. Um, I like to eat lion. <laughs> you know, ah, if you will, please, you have a bonus about lion. A whole king of the jungle. Nigeria have given jungle justice to the king of jungle. This country, Nigeria makes me laugh. Last week I saw the news that some people went to steal spare parts from Arik Plain. <laughs> so my first question is, first of all, how did they enter the plane? How did they get the key to open the plane door and <laughs> enter? They now stole things from the cockpit. So that's how you enter plane. Say, uh, madam, I can't find my seat where I'm on 11 B. Say, madam, you thief that chair last week. <laughs> he says, sir, please, um, can you wind that? He says, madam, there's no window here. Eh? They stole you too. You'll now be flying. And I say, uh, madam, I'm pressed. Yes, so now look at you. Ah, uh, sir. Ah, I don't know how you're going to take this. Uh, this flight, we have 30 more minutes. Can you hold it till we get to Abuja? He said, I don't, I said, I'm pressed, oh God, they sold our toilet last week. <laughs> our pilot now, we don't even know that anything was stolen. We just take off, bah! Uh, um, prepare for landing. After the pilot starts shouting, I can't see what to press to come now, no. <laughs> Where is this engine here? Where is this brake? I don't see if I go sell a volatile bomb. <laughs> Sometimes I just look at Nigeria and I laugh. You know, and it's time to create your world. Create your world. So, now there's, as we are doing this program, so people's world is in Canada. <laughs> That's where they are creating their world. I'm just here to receive motivation to go. <laughs> people are taking off. My friend booked flight to Canada last year, 90% off Black Friday, 30,000. I said to where? He said to Canada. I said, why is it so cheap? He says 90% off Black Friday. I said to the real Canada, you guys say, is that another one? I said, you believe you fly? I said, who bothered? Eh? You are inside plane like this? He said, yes. I said, there are white people around you. He said, all of us are black. We bought it on Black Friday. I said, if this plane take off, flash me, let me know. This guy flashed me, so I was feeling bad. How did I miss this chance to go to Canada with 30K? Only for me to find out that for two months they've been in Congo. <laughs> That's where the plane stopped. No fuel to continue. He's not selling Congo meat. I said you will die there. You've not seen anything. One, <laughs> a lot of things are happening. A lot, a lot of things are happening. So please, um, like she rightly said, young people, most of you have um, poisonous ambition. You just sit down, start thinking rubbish. Ah! If I can just see one billion. Wait. This is your girl, Stamix. Did they see one billion pig? Do they see one billion Nigerian road and pig, sir? If you don't work, you cannot make it to. Let me tell you now, some of you are not doing your work. Pastor Ebiomi, I've cost all of you. Day for yesterday, Ebiomi. 
Yeah. If you are doing your will, say what? You are a thief. One boy that does it, I will say they are taking back what the uh, colonial masters took from us. Who sent you? Leave it there. So, walk, oh, me that I'm a comedian now, I made up my mind. I've known from time, I've pictured it that I was going to become a comedian. Because right from time in school, every day my name must be written on the list of next nice makers. Even if I've said nothing, they will write it believing I will talk later. And finally, I will talk. In fact, one day they wrote my name on the list of Nemekas in another cloud. No joke, so true life story. I can't forget the name of that boy. His name is on the morning, man. God will judge you wherever you are. I was in GS2. This is where I wrote my name in GS2A. They were not reading the name of Nemekas. Aquidolo or whatever. He says, I see the other class. He said, What's his name? He says, I will know his voice. The flogged that day. And that man that flogged me was a serious teacher. He now told the others to go, that I'm taking up, I'm their savior. I took, so that thing that Jesus did on the cross, I've done, I've, I've given my life for, my, for fellow people that I'm not in that class. Well, and I found that, that I was serious teacher is not even a Christian. I was going home, <laughs> so I was serious teacher drinking beer and smoking cigarettes. I said, ah, because he has a nickname, who beside you? I was like, not be who beside you be that. And I went, ah, sir, a who you? Sarah's teacher, drinking beer and smoking. He said, no, I'm not a Christian. No, that's what I read in school. I'm teaching what I read in school. I don't know Christ. And you're teaching us about Christ. Anyways, that's his feature that I created. But that, those comments that was cracking since. Noisemaker, this boy talks too much. They are not paying me to talk. So create the future you want. God bless you. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hand forever. Please hold up forever. Please, um, we, we, let's appreciate forever. He was able to create great. Can you please see that we have something for you on behalf of the Ubon King Foundation? Um, Thinkation. This is a brand new, brand new gift. Yes, sir. Can we appreciate? Yes. yes. Yeah. Thank you. Mama, you'd like to present it? Or first lady, you'd like to present it? Yes. Thank you. Thank this you, is, man. yeah, on behalf of our, uh, yeah. Hmm. Ballon yeah. Dior Award. This is the Afcon, oh, sorry, the location. I like this one because it's my personal gift. My name is on it. My wife cannot take it. So, on behalf of the Obon King Foundation, I'm presenting this to you and telling you thank you. I'm sure all of you enjoyed the time with him. <laughs> and you want to see him back at Thinkation? Yes. Okay. Let's stay January 28th. May God continue to increase your Am ministry. Amen. <laughs> making us laugh. <laughs> thank you so much. Doctor Forever. And this also comes, it's buy one, get one free. Yeah. You say you don't want MC, for, MC in front of your name, but you will not be able to take that gift. Yeah? Thank you so much. Can we celebrate him, please? Yeah. Thank you. All right. Um,